Hello again, my friends. This is Kanita, and I greet you warmly in the name of our risen Lord, Yeshua, Almighty God. Times of seeming spiritual darkness, a spiritual deadness, times when you seek God, seek to hear from Him, and you do not seem to find him and you struggle and usually times like this seem to come at, at at times of pressing pressing need or or times of stress does this sound familiar to any of you my friends in your walk with the Lord you know the truth is that all believers even the most eminent and well-known servants of God have gone through their dead and dark seasons when the life of God within us seems smashed, smashed to so low an ebb by the, by the constant warfare and its accompanying weariness of the soul so as to be, so as to be hardly visible. And we struggle to find, to find that life of the living God that we are so accustomed to as if the stream of life we depend on was hidden in the mud banks of a desperately wicked world. Yet, my friends, it is within and through these dark and dead seasons that the people of God are instructed you see, as we live in this world and interact as we must, we cannot help but see and deeply feel and be weighed down by the alienation we find everywhere, literally everywhere, everywhere we turn. But you see, it is here in the midst of this oppression and darkness that we see for ourselves and learn again in whom all our strength and sufficiency lies. We see again that in the flesh is no good thing and that no exertions of our own, no matter how noble or well-intentioned, can sustain us for even a day without the strength and vigor of the living God. Here we learn once again that we are nothing without the constant flow of pure sovereign grace and mercy. And we come to know in this school of hard and painful experience of our emptiness, our nothingness, and that without Christ, without the indwelling in constant presence of our living Savior, we can do nothing Thus, thus in this emptiness and darkness, we, all of us, once again fall on our knees and become clothed in humility and cease from our own strength and our own wisdom. As the Lord put it, we cease to kick against the goad. And as we cease, we come to realize what we already knew, that Christ is and ever must be all in all to us and all in all in us. Only then, my friends, will the darkness lift. Only then can we rise up clothed by him in his righteousness to fight another day. So you see the reality, my friends, is that these seeming seasons of deadness are in truth seasons of invitation to a renewal of life, life in the spirit, life divine, life abundant and overflowing. And these periods of darkness are merely an interlude 
between the massive waves of divine light. Amen. Until the next time, my friends. Oh, one thing I almost forgot before I leave here. Uh, the music you hear playing under the uh, under the show is provided by Zeph and Trish Daniel, and I do thank them so much. Zeph's music can be found at uh, SoundCloud slash Zedja, and Zeph's uh, all of Zeph's stuff, his uh, his podcasts, his music, his written work can be found at uh, zephdaniel.podbean.com. I have forgotten to mention it before because the podcasts that I do, I usually have songs before and after, uh, but I don't do that with the uh, with the videos because I, I would kind of feel stupid sitting here waiting while the song played, and I don't really know how to hook them together yet. My technical skills are are somewhat limited. <laughs> But I did, I did want to make mention of this because I, I planned to do it last time and I had forgotten. Well, that's done. Until the next time, my friends. Have a wonderful day in our risen Lord. <laughs>